This, this person that Steve is talking to right now has a samurai museum in his house. And he has like original samurai armor. You should see it. You should see the picture of this. So officially, I'm the only... So what, what's the process? Are they all paintings or what, what are they? Yeah, so basically what I do is I take the Japanese samurai. Inspires me? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, I love the samurai. My background is Japanese Canadian, and what I like to do is paint the samurai subjects, and I put on patterns and stuff that I really like. And I'm just trying to create my own style of Japanese Canadian art. So, growing up in Canada uh, as Japanese Canadian, I didn't really actually know that many Japanese people. Everybody around me were multicultural, but none of them were really Japanese. And it was hard figuring out like what I was as a Japanese Canadian. It took me a while to figure out things. Uh, I didn't know what type of subject matter I wanted to paint. And then I came across the, the samurai stuff that I really like to do. Um, it actually resembles uh, myself. It's like a armor that protects me from like as a kid. My favorite is this one here. Yeah, this one here. Uh, this is my first painting. Basically, it, when I first started this one, it was like I was trying to figure out a formula on how I wanted to do all of my paintings. And then uh, eventually, when I figured it out, I created this, and then it inspired me to create all the other ones. So, like the painting actually has like Canadian and Japanese aspects to it. Um, as you can see, like the Canadian maple leaf is present on the top of the helmet. And then I use like Japanese and North American style patterns on most of my paintings. Because I am Japanese Canadian, I hope it has like a Japanese Canadian feel to it. The one on the other side here. So this one here is the Japanese, it's a Canadian samurai. It has all, a lot of Canadian aspects to it. It's got the knit, plaid, gives it a Canadian feel. It also has uh, phoenixes right there uh, as a mustache. And these are other pieces that I've been working on. This is the Yakuza Panda, basically. So uh, it shows that even if you're powerful, like you're still constrained within certain limits, basically. And it's just like a panda in a zoo. He's a powerful bear, but he has no freedom, basically. Thank you.